All right, in this lecture, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start blocking in the colors for our painting. So we just wanna keep this nice and simple. The more simple you can keep your paintings at the beginning, the easier the process is gonna be for you and the more manageable it'll feel. So let's go ahead and let's start by, we're gonna create a new layer. So I already created one right underneath my drawing layer so that way I can add color underneath it. And what we wanna do is using our color picker, we're gonna pick one of the darker colors on her skin. So I'm gonna pick right here underneath her shop. Well, actually, maybe we'll come down here onto her shoulder. So it's important that when you're color picking and you're doing studies that you pay attention to where those colors are in your color tray because you really want to start observing those. So you'll notice that the darkest area over here, it's kind of a desaturated color. You could color pick a few other colors such as this light area and you'll see it's pretty desaturated as well. And basically anywhere you look on her face, it's all pretty desaturated. We get to her lips and even that is not as saturated as you might think. So this image is a pretty desaturated image. Also, I think we forgot to turn the opacity up. So I'm gonna turn the opacity back up. If we go ahead and check all those colors again, you'll, they're a little bit more saturated now. That red is a lot more saturated. We can see that they're not as saturated as you might think. So what we wanna do is we wanna select this darker color down here on our shoulders, and we're gonna use that as our base color. You usually wanna start with a darker color. So using a brush tool, we'll bring up the size quite large. And let's just go ahead and just start painting in that darker color wherever her skin tone is. Then when we get down here, let's just go ahead and paint some nice paint strokes. Maybe we'll bring that size back down and just kind of let it fade out down here at the bottom. We could even take this color all the way up into her hair if we want to. I'm gonna add some soft stuff out here as well. And I'm gonna switch over to a different brush. I'm not super satisfied with this brush. I wanna get a little bit more of a sharper edge. I'm gonna switch to my other paint brush that has a harder edge. I'm just going to paint some of this out here as well with a harder edge. And maybe I'll take my eraser. I'm going to erase that back a little bit and try that again. Because I want this to have a softer edge. And that's not looking very soft. So switching back to my brush tool, I'm just going to do some very light, soft brush strokes out here that are nice and transparent. And that's just kind of to help stylize this painting a little bit. All right, perfect. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna select one of these lighter colors in the skin tone, so maybe somewhere from down here. So not the lightest area like on her cheek, but somewhere about a mid-tone. And I'm gonna use that to start shading in the face. I'm gonna bring the opacity of my brush down to 30%. And this will allow me to slowly layer in where I want the highlights to be. So basically her whole face is gonna be in highlight, but there's some areas that I wanna be more highlighted than others. So for example, right here on her cheek, right down here on her chin, right here on her upper lip, on her bottom of her nose, up here, on her brow right there. Same with on the other side, I want more highlight over here, and right here on the edge of her face. I also want to get more highlight down here. And even though these colors don't match her skin perfectly, for now they're going to give us a nice base. And then we can start to go over some of these darker areas because we actually want all the skin tone to be pretty bright. We just want some of these areas to be a little bit darker than others. Something like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and select, let's do the lips next. I'm gonna select a red from in here, try to get a mid-tone red, not one of these darker reds. I'll go in there and I'm gonna paint in the lips. Bring your brush opacity back up to 100% so you can get that full red color in there. Go ahead and do the top lip. Then 
Then let's go ahead and let's do the teeth. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this darker bluish gray color in there. I'm gonna paint in those teeth. There's a trash can driving by Nick, so I'm gonna pause for a second just to make sure you edit this out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color pick the eye. So I'm gonna grab kind of that mid-tone color in there. I can paint that eye in. Maybe I'll grab a little bit of this lighter color in here. This is more of a blue color. I'm gonna fill that part in as well. All right, great. Then, let's see. Let's go ahead and paint in the hair now. And that'll just about do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that hair color bring up my brush size and just roughly fill in the area where the hair is now we're gonna clean this up a bunch this is just a really block in those colors um, and I've, we've done this so many times so many paintings like you probably get the idea but I just really want to stress that the beginning of your painting should be really simple kind of messy um, don't get too stressed out about making everything perfect because that will kind of ruin your painting. You really just want to be loose and then work your way to a more tight and more refined painting towards the end. I'm going to go ahead and select some of this dark brown in the hair. Maybe add some of that in here a little bit. Maybe add a little bit to these eyebrows. Doesn't really matter much just because we're painting underneath this brown drawing. Oh, and lastly, let's go ahead, let's select the brown in the eyes, and let's go ahead and paint the eyes in. All right, great, so there we go. That's all you have to do in order to block in your painting. Now, I don't really like down here on her neck, I don't really like how this paint is acting. It doesn't look that nice, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, reselect this dark color in here, oops, paint some of that in with this other brush, because I think that was a problem, is the brush I was using. And then I'll reselect this lighter color and paint some of that in on top of it. I think that looks a little bit better. I just didn't really like how it was reacting down here. Um, it didn't look that nice or painterly or anything like that, so that's why I changed that. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So you can see why it's important to make sure that your, your drawing lines are nice and thin because if they're not, it's going to cover up all of your color and stuff. So you can even see here in the hair, we could even go in there and erase out some of this brown. Whoops, switch my eraser. We could erase out some of this brown from the drawing. We could actually erase a lot of this drawing out. We don't even really need this outline anymore. So you can see I can just <clears throat> kind of start erasing out that drawing. It's not that important anymore. I'm going to lighten up these eyebrows a little bit. Maybe not because we don't want to lose the shape of those. But I could probably start to erase out the lips a little bit, maybe lighten up the nose a bit. Now I think my skin tone kind of overshot over here on the jawline, so I'm gonna come back down to that layer and I'm just gonna sort of clean up that edge a little bit more like that. All right, great, so there we go. We just blocked in the colors for our painting and now we're ready to really start adding some detail in. I'll see you guys in the next lecture.